In this tape, the first of two on the anatomy of the head and neck, we'll look first at the structures involved in support and movement of the head, then at the facial skeleton and base of the skull, then at the structures involved in breathing, eating, swallowing, and speaking. In the second tape, we'll look at the blood vessels of the head and neck, then at the brain, the cranial nerves, the ear, and the eye. As in other parts of the body, understanding the bones provides the foundation for everything else we need to learn. The skull is such a complicated piece of bony anatomy that we won't try to understand all of it at once. Instead, we'll build up our picture of it a little at a time in the course of this tape. In each section, we'll add the parts of the skull that are new to the parts that we've seen already. In that way, we'll end up with a complete picture. In this first section, we'll look at the way the head is attached to the body and how it moves. We'll start by looking at the bones that are involved, then we'll look at the joints and ligaments that connect them. After that, we'll look at the muscles that maintain the position of the head and cause it to move. The bones that are involved in support and movement of the head are the thoracic and cervical vertebrae, the upper ribs, the clavicles, and this part of the underside of the skull that's called the occiput. The skull consists of the cranium and the facial skeleton. The cranium is the bony container for the brain and the foundation for the facial skeleton. The cranium is made up of a number of originally separate bones. These lines of fusion, known as sutures, show where the bones are joined. The principal bones that form the cranium are the occipital bone behind and below, the parietal bone and temporal bone on each side, the sphenoid bone and the frontal bone. The two bones of the cranium that we're concerned with at present are the occipital bone and the lower part of the adjoining temporal bone. To see the full extent of the occipital bone, we'll take the mandible out of the picture. 